it, it felt great. The, the Basically, the opportunity to sit there, the field of view was magnificent. I could see out and around, I could see the runway clearly, I could see everything clearly. To get an opportunity to fly an aircraft, the design coming from about 1910, it's, it's a real thrill. But to actually get out there and actually fly an aircraft like that was absolutely magnificent. I've still got a smile on my face. I had a huge smile on my face when we landed and I don't think it's going to come off for a long, long time. Well, um, we knew that 100 years of military aviation was coming up on the 1st of March next year, 2014. And uh, how could you let an event like that go by without something commemorating that? So Jeff and I got together and we decided that the best way to do that would be to build a safe, reliable flying replica box kite. We made a conscious effort when we were designing the aeroplane not to modify it in any way. We reproduced what was built in 1910 and what was here in 1914. We didn't try to improve it at all. It took us about six years. Well, two years of planning and five years of building, so yeah. over a period of seven years. I'd like to say thank you very much for building a magnificent aircraft. It was a delight to fly. A magnificent machine for a magnificent men. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Right. No, what a great for job. Being part of, a, part of it too. Right? What a fantastic job. Yeah, no, it's great. You should be very, very proud. She's yes. beautiful. She's a beautiful aircraft.